Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change Shopify team without losing content. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you change your Shopify team here without actually losing content? Well, it's actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to access our Shopify store. So go to Shopify.com, log in into your account and access your store here. Now, what we need to do next is we now need to understand how do we change it and what will be affected whenever we change our team here. Now, first is going to be the compatibility concerns here. Sometimes changing your team or in this case, uh, updating or switching to, to a different team can actually affect how your site would actually look like and in this case actually work. Now, sometimes some apps will not be compatible to your uh, website or your uh, site here. And again, some customized code that you've entered here might not also be compatible as well. So. What I like you to suggest uh, doing here is to first see if any uh, custom code or in this case uh, apps that you install is actually compatible to the team that you'll be using later on. But in this case, how do we change our team here? So you want to go to online store here at the left panel and you want to go ahead and go to the right side here and you want to go ahead and scroll down a bit here. Now, in this case, you also have the spotlight section, which in this case allows you to customize it and do other stuff here. Like, for example, if you want to preview, rename, duplicate, and all those stuff. But you also have the team library here. Now, usually for you to change your team here, you first need to add them to your library or team library. Now, for example, maybe I want to add a team here. Let's just say we want to add the Don team here. Let's go and click on add. Now in here, it should start downloading the team itself and you just need to wait for it to fully down to be fully downloaded for it in order for you to start using it. Now, by the way, if you're looking for more teams, you go and click on teams at the bottom section here and basically search for different teams that you might want to use. But in this case, we are good with this section here. And also you can go and click on vis visit team store here. But if you want to learn more, just click on the team section at the very bottom here. But yeah, so in this case, the team is now going to be uh, downloaded. So let's just wait for it to be fully downloaded. Now, in this case, for you to update your team, you just need to click on the publish button. In this case, it's going to say this will replace your current team. Again, some teams might not be fully compatible with your shop with the custom code as well as the, uh, in this case, uh, some of the apps that you've installed. So make sure that the apps that you've done and any changes or modifications you've done before would actually be compatible with your new team. Let's go and click on publish here. Now, in this case, uh, the good thing about Shopify here is switching teams doesn't necessarily affect your the content of your website. Let's just say you've added different products here. Those products would actually be, uh, be used on your actual store. So they will not be erased. They can still be accessed in your shop. As you can see already, I have from pro some products here and still going to be retained in my website here. So no worries about that. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.